exclusion. Ex- it, there's an exclusion. We'll have to take a look uh, this year. Maybe they got rid of that. So, hey, uh, real fast, Aunt, uh, Aunt sorry, uh, Jimmy and I and our, our chicks. Yeah, we went out last night, man. We uh, went and saw a Bronx Tale, Chaz Palmateri's uh, one man play. Here in Manhattan, holy s, amazing or what? Yeah. Holy s, was it good? Yeah, and now, I got to be honest, I see a lot of movies I've never seen a Bronx Tale. You've never seen a Bronx Tale? I've now, seen pieces of it, I guess, but I've never sat down and watched the whole thing for some reason. I realized that yesterday. And you thought it was really good, the I, um, the I, uh, play. I thought it was amazing. Now, Jimmy, you saw the movie, I saw the movie, and the time. play. Okay, so what did you think going into it, uh, having seen the movie? Well, it's the same story. I mean, it follows. It's just, it's. I was amazed watching how great he is as an actor. Yeah, it's like he, he's. It's like an hour and a half, hour and forty minutes. It's not boring. He's alone on stage. There's a few sound effects, but it's him, and he's not acting out the parts in a cheesy way. He's like telling a story. And in the story, it's like, um, so I'm talking to Anthony, and Anthony's like, hey, what are you doing? It's like he just becomes these guys in a very natural story. Without over-the-top turn around and go, and it would look something like no, this. He, <laughs> it's not an imitation of somebody. His, he was changing his mannerisms and his voices on a dime, and, yeah. and you could completely follow along. Like, he had a few scenes where he was uh, doing four or five guys at the same, not at the same time, but boom, boom, back and forth, and you're like, whoa, wow. Is it, is it like a guy telling a really good story, I guess? Really good story, and it's a, it's a very simple set, and it's just Chaz Palminteri for an hour and 35 minutes. Minutes. No I break, I no gotta, intermission. I, I got to see this. It's so it was so good, man. Yeah, it was so good. It was amazing. I usually don't like plays either. I very rarely. Yeah, I'm not like... a big fan. Is that uh, running for any length of time? Or... Oh yeah, yeah. You can go anytime you want. All right, I got to see that. It, we I'm were a huge Chaz Palminteri it, fan. It was really amazing, and uh, uh, Jimmy's girl said that you, Jimmy, you had a little tear in your eye. Well, oh. Just, oh. Well, you know, no, I was just watching such a great actor do do what he does without any shame, without any embarrassment. It was like just you're watching a master. Like this is a guy who can act with De Niro or Pacino and mm-hmm. not be uncomfortable with them. Like that's the yeah. level that you're watching. It's like Jesus guy is just great. Yeah, absolutely. He was great. That one mm-hmm. uh one observation though, they should have had a metal detector going into the joint. I'm like, where's that? <laughs> Where did all these wise guys come from to see this play last night? Oh, yeah. A lot oh, of, uh... wow. He pointed that out to me. He comes over and he said that they should have a melody. I'm like, why? He goes, look around. Look a around. A lot of goombas came oh, out yeah, of the woodwork. We, <laughs> we were, uh, you know, we were absolutely the minority. I mean, yeah. these guys came out of the... I mean, I thought it was, a, you know, this old gag, but it, it makes sense. Looked like a casting call for, like, The Sopranos. Literally. I mean, it was, like, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing <laughs> how many Italians were in there. Yeah, they loved it. Of course. He got a standing ovation. I mean, an instant standing yeah. ovation. Yeah. Yeah. And then he came back out. People Emily couldn't thought. wait to get off uh, their seats. It wasn't one of those slow builds. It was like, wow, everyone stood up at the same time. It was great. It yeah. was really great. And another observation, before the um, before the play, we're kind of hanging out on the sidewalk and uh, waiting for Jimmy's uh, chick. And I, I uh, officially have to say, Jimmy's really in love. Yeah? Jimmy's in love. I saw Jimmy be a man yesterday. What's what'd you what'd you do? She got mouthy and no. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she jumps out of a cab and says hi and comes up and says hi, whatever, right? All of a sudden, she realizes that she uh, she left her wallet in the cab. Oh no! And she she goes into an instant panic like anyone would, and she starts pointing like it. Well, she sees a cab and she goes running and and knocks on the window like I left my wallet in the cab, and then realizes it's not the same cab. Well, they do. Goes I'll into a panic. Same. She's got kind of like girly shoes. Not kind of. She's got girly yeah, shoes girl on. Boots. She can't girl boots. She can't run in these things with heels and stuff. So she looks at Jimmy like, my wallet, it's in that cab. And she points to a cab that honestly is 50 yards up the road, and the light's turning green. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Jimmy just slow motion. Dude, that's I got it, sweetheart. You weren't even there. You described it perfectly. Jimmy didn't even think. It was like his girl, her wallet, he needs to get that wallet, and he takes off. And then there was, I watched the whole thing go down. You actually stop like, oh, man, there's no way I'm doing this. Like, because yeah. the cab is going through a green. Oh, no. So you kind of stop a little bit. He stops for a second. But then he thought about it a he, little more. He thought for a second and said, F it. I'm going for it, man. I see him running, like, across two lanes of traffic. It's a like green light. It's like cars are <laughs> zooming in and out. And there's Jimmy. Like, he talks about this stupid. Go, Jimmy, go. He talks about this stupid 
foot of his that he can't do anything. He, I ask him to walk home. We walk home every once in a while, but <laughs> half the time he can't because he has this dumb foot problem. And, and there was no foot problem yesterday. He had to take care of his girl, man. He's just hauling. It's Times Square, too. You know how that gets. Yeah. And also, I'm like, no way. We're all watching in amazement. And uh, then he, like, disappears. <laughs> And I'm just waiting. We're all waiting, and I and I see him like walking down the sidewalk with his with his chick, arm in arm, happiness everywhere. I'm like, oh my god, he was successful. He actually got the job done. Yeah, I wound up. Uh, it was you know what helped me back was the fact that it was one of those stupid cabs in New York here. They have painted the back like uh, multi colors, like yeah, little flowery project. Yeah. things. And there was only a couple on the street, the cabs that were like that, and she had gotten out of one. So I was able to not need to look in like three or four cabs in a row. And I bolted across, uh, it was between uh, 8th Avenue and Broadway, so went over Broadway, and between Broadway and 7th is not that long. So he started to go through the second light, and he Jesus. slowed down at the... Uh, <laughs> Wait, so you ran how, how far? He about, about a block and a half. Whatever. A block and a half running at full speed. It was yeah. a long block and a half. Yeah. He took off, man. Were you winded? Nah, it was all right. I mean, yeah. I told her that's the advantage of dating an athlete. <laughs> you know, it's when you need these things done. And then Jimmy whispers to me as we're going into the uh, the joint to see a Bronx Tale. He goes, oh, I'll be uh, using this to my advantage for the next few months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh honey. And then he's back to Jimmy. I love it. I think I pulled something running. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> she was really happy, though. I, I, you know, it was it was pretty cool to see, to be honest with you. Hey, uh, speaking of a Bronx tale, Chaz is coming in on Friday. Yeah, he wanted someone someone from the show to see the play first. Probably so we, we could discuss it. And yeah. Bragging about it. Right. God damn it, was that good. And tell you the truth, if we didn't like the play, we would have kind of like quietly, you know, passed on Chaz or something. The play was amazing. We can't wait to talk to him on Friday. So, yeah. There you go. All right, we'll break on time today. What the hell?